Okay, I'm excited because there's a new version of Ableton Live. It's been designed to work with this new app and this allows for wireless jamming with other musicians across a variety of different apps. So I've downloaded it, but it's just occurred to me that I've got a machine, my controller files are contained within the existing Ableton Live app. So if you're in a similar position, I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Let's just close this down. I'm gonna open up Finder and um, let's take a look in the applications folder and you can see here the Ableton live suite application I'm going to right click on this go to show package contents and we're going to open up the contents folder also the app resources folder and we're looking for the midi remote scripts folder here now machine here i'm going to look for that folder so you can see here machine mark 2 i'm going to basically drag a copy out onto the desktop and now what i can do is i can safely overwrite this application and you know if i hadn't done this i would have had to go and get the files install them again so you understand why i'm doing this i'm going to now go to my downloads folder get the latest version so this is the 64-bit version of ableton live 9.6 and you're going to see what happens you know when i get to the point where i've got the actual application itself then it's going to say to me you know when i drag it over do i want to overwrite the existing so i'm just going to go straight ahead and do that Gonna get the message in a second. There we go, so a newer item. So named, <laughs> this is interesting. I wonder why it thinks that. So I know this is the brand new version, so I'm gonna replace. Okay, so we're gonna replace the existing file. I would suggest you do the same. I don't know why it was saying that my existing version was more recent. Um, maybe I've just reread, I've read that wrong, and maybe it's because it's, I've, I've had a long day. Um, I'm just kind of filling in just time here whilst there's loads, um, so ignore me for the moment. So we're nearly there. Once this is done, I'm gonna open up the application. So let's have a look. There's the new version. Okay, so we're gonna right click on here, show package contents open this up at resources it's looking a little bit different because of the way the folders are presented here but do not worry into the remote scripts folder and we can see here that um let me just see just to make sure no there's nothing for machine okay so what we do is we now drag this into the same folder and we're gonna be back in business. And actually, just whilst you're here, I'm gonna load it up and just see if there's anything different. I don't think there is gonna be anything um, majorly. Um, so it's just opening up the app. And um, I think, you know, obviously the main thing here is that there'll be some fixes coming from the, um, the recent beta. So there might be a couple of little bug fixes, but the most significant new thing is bound to be the uh, ability to do that wireless um, performance with different iOS apps. And um, I wanted to share with you that whole process. And um, if we just come up here, let's go to preferences. We'll go to uh, MIDI. Oh look, we've got link here listed. Interesting, okay. I'm not seeing the machine um, information here. Um, let me just go to my Ableton Live template. And um, let me just make sure I've got my machine here over on the control surface section. So let me find it. Like I said, it's been a long day. I'm feeling tired. Um, where is it? Where is it? I cannot even see it here. Um, what is going on? Seriously, what the hell? The whole video is pointless. Raw. What's going on? The machine's listed here. No, what's going on? That's why it's not showing up. So as you have seen, that didn't work at all. So this is a great thing about forums and um, you know the underground music production group particularly is a great forum. And so I posted up something here and I got a response. So it looks like basically I'm now gonna need to wait for Native Instruments to make some updates. So Darren Cowley, and um, he knows what he's talking about because his company makes products for Ableton Live. Um, so he's saying basically it's an external script so it's down to native instruments to update all of the scripts are broken due to the update um, because they've moved over to python 
2.7 and Darren's team have been working on their updates for months so I assume that native instruments are doing the same um, it's you know I can revert back to the previous version um, if I want to use the machine controller there is a great um, live controller script for this so um, it works really well and I don't have a push at the moment once again Ableton, if you want to send one my way, uh, push to, fantastic. Um, but until that happens, you know, I'm using the machine as my Ableton Live controller. So yeah, I'll revert back to the previous version. It's a bit of a shame because you could tell I was excited about the link and uh, the benefits perhaps. In fact, you know what I could do is I could just run the two together. I'll just name the, the files, the applications differently so I can run them both and get the best of both worlds. But um, yeah, thanks to Darren on the Underground Music Production Group for that uh, swift answer there. I'm sure the word's going to spread around and um, if anybody finds out about Native Instruments updating it, please uh, give me a shout in the comments and uh, we can all benefit from that update when it happens. Mm -hmm.